Good morning everyone, it is September 13th. I hope you're having a great Thursday. We're going to continue on discovering your purpose from Colossians. And, and today, the, the thing I want to talk about, we're not going to do it six, I've cut a couple out, so we'll be done tomorrow. Work wholeheartedly with His energy. In, in verse 29 and verse 1 of, of chapter 2, it says, To this end I labor, struggling with all His energy, which so powerfully works in me. I want you to know how much I am struggling for you and for those in Laodicea and for all who have not, not met me personally. Paul is saying this. Get this. To this end I labor. He is referring to proclaiming Christ and presenting believers. His labor and struggles in his task. To labor means to grow weary through hard toil. The word struggle comes from the root word uh, in Greek translated agony. It doesn't sound like very fun, much fun, does it? But both words were used of athletes competing in the arena or of, the la of labor working to the point of exhaustion. Paul used the same word at the end of his life as he reflected on how he had lived his life in 2 Timothy 4 7. He says, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept my faith. See, we are called to lay ourselves out, to become spiritually fatigued in order to move people toward full devotion of God. And God has called us to do that. Work tirelessly to do what God has called us to. Leading people to the cross, working to to do what God wants to accomplish in us. You say, well, working, I love what Paul said. It says in his energy, because we cannot accomplish in our own energy, in our own task, in our own way. Because sometimes we as as people, as human beings, we want to we want to define the task and how to get it to. And we want to get it done easy way. And God says, no, I want you to take the long way around. But God is saying to this to you this morning is that Follow my path. Use my energy. Tap into my, my spirit. And watch me guide you and direct, direct you in the ways that you should go. And not do it on your own. It says trust in the Lord with all that's in you. Everything. Trust, that, trust the Lord with everything in your life. Say, God, you are my God. Here you go. It's, it's yours. The fact is moving to a, a life of faith. Saying, God, I'm trusting you in this. And watch how he uses that trust, that faith. And God will move you and use you and energize you. I love one of my bit, my favorite things to do is is to is to share the gospel or to preach. I love that. It gets me so excited. It gets me so energy. And 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 I I love I love animation. I love I love preaching. I I, I love it. it. Energizes me. But I know after I preach, I, I get done. I'm worn out. I I I I've I've given all I can give. And, and and when I was a youth pastor, I, I had to preach one sermon a week, and that you know that was good. But now as a senior pastor, I get to preach three times a week, and and, and I'm pretty worn out after I preach three times. And and the, uh, during OK Kids, we did a service outdoors, and and that was in front of, you know in front of a lot of people. We had people in the tent, but we had people outside of the tent listening to a sermon. And, and and just preaching with all your passion. See, we all have different desires and different things that God has called us to do, and how to see your calling. The things that God has put on your path, in your way, is, is for the purpose of steering people to the cross. He just didn't gift you to give you a gift. He gave you a purpose in life, and that is guiding people to the cross. Well, I hope this blessed you, and tomorrow we're going we're gonna to dive in this and close this out. But He really wants to use you. And the best thing that we can say to the Lord as followers of Christ is yes, use me, and God will use you. May God bless you. Let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you so much. I pray that you bless every single person. I pray that you give them a great day. I pray that, Lord, most of all, that you give them the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today in your name. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.